Oh man, we are so close to being able to do a cool thing. We just need to find this next part and then do it. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. It's been a long stream so far and it's not quite over. Yeah. Death. We are surrounded by it. Wow, I shot him with so many arrows, his head got split off of his body. Man, that rapid fire does so much goddamn damage. Can I vault across that? No, that's right, only the barbarians can leap across obstacles. Obstacles. Only the barbarians can do it get across the obstacles. I don't even think the wizard's teleport can get you across like chasms and up and down levels and stuff. And that seems to be the uh, premier like jump out of trouble attack or skill I guess is the better word to describe what the fuck it is. Hey guess what you're dead. Oh, he dropped a shield. I can put that on my dude, bro. Let's put the shield on my dude. Wow, that's, uh, much better. He still sucks, but, you know. Hey, we found it. Oh, no, wait, this is an event. Crap. That would not be wise. You have to defeat all the waves in the time remaining. Good news is they're all just running at me, so I can just do this. <laughs> Works for me. Come on, get the hatred up. You gotta do it. You gotta go fast. We actually went fast. Are there any more? Shit! Where'd they go? Oh, that asshole ran all the way off over there off screen. And I didn't see it on the damn mini-map. Oh well. We didn't get the chest, but whatever. Shut up, it's harder than it looks! Welcome to the stream, by the way, everybody. I hope you're enjoying what you're watching. Um, if you would like an explanation on what the hell we're doing beyond we're playing through the game on Hardcore, please let me know uh, in the chat. Otherwise, yeah, hope you stick around. Oh wow, shit's going cray cray. Hey, Tony's buying Dark Souls. Look like we got another co-op, bro. Yeah, buddy. Oh, we're about to ding 64. That's good. Nintendo 64. Yeah. Whee! We're doing it. Man, what a stream this has been so far. Just all over the damn place. Oh wow, they all died fast. Magi reward. Wonder what that is, let's take a look-see. It is a enchantress token. So, nothing we need right now. Hey, we've got some death's breath finally. We can upgrade the uh, we can upgrade the blacksmith here, which I think might be fun thing to do after we hit level 64, which should be happening shortly. What's over here? Nothing is over here. Let's jump back this way. Man, we are so close to being having this damn thing done. <laughs> I cannot wait. I am so excited to actually beat this fucking boss on hardcore mode. I've never done that before. I've never done the hardcore run through. Just 
kill the boss. Hey, we're level 64. Y'all ain't got shit. Beast mode. There's the siege rune, so we are actually ready to move on here. We're level 64. So I think we'll actually jump back into town really quick and do some crafting and whatnot. Here we go. First things first. Whoops. Salvage all the crap we got on us. Repair. Train them. Five. Oh wow, you only need one death spread to upgrade him all the way. That's good. So now we can upgrade items that we... Hmm. And that level 40, those level 45 gloves have been so good to us. And I don't have anything I can do to upgrade those anymore. Wow, now we're into the high tier um, material requirement items. Huh. Okay. Well, we've done that, so let's drop some stuff off at the stash and move on, shall we? that off. Nothing. Oop. Drop off the Marquis Ruby. Marquis Emerald. And that's it. Cool. Back to the grind, ladies and gents. Jump up this way. Alright. I'm so satisfied with how much damage we're doing at this point. Should do pretty well against the boss unless we have... Unless they do as much damage as I do, which Malphael packs a fucking wall up. When he fights, you need to make sure you are not in the middle of his shit. Hey, a new event. Blow up the Hive Cluster. The Hive Cluster is under attack. We require more Vespian gas. Other, you know, jokes, StarCraft stuff. These guys really come at us once we start putting their hive cluster under attack. Yeah, y'all ain't got shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a boss over there. Look at him hiding. Exa Exatla. Exatla. That's your name. Now you're dead. You'll never have a name ever again. Let's see. Better crossbow? Hell no. And I just, I guess we just got really lucky with the crossbow we picked up right away. We can just sprint through here all the way. Since we've cleared it out already. You're watching the stream on Xbone. Hell yeah. Talking to my uh, mod in the chat here. For those of you who don't have chat up or aren't checking it out. How's it look? Probably not as good as the 1080p the normal game runs in, but, you know. I like that. I like all the apps on the Xbox One, especially the Twitch One, because then if, if I got a buddy who's streaming and I don't want to feel like playing games or blah blah blah, just sit back and watch. Just chillax and enjoy. So I burn all the bodies. Yeah! Just throw more experience at me. Just throw it at me. Just give me all of it. I'm gonna feel bad about not hitting 70 by the time I beat this I boss. If I hit 70 and if the I beat the boss. <laughs> the sliver has revealed the stupid the plot that's stupid. Hey guys, this is stupid. To capture We're gonna use the thing for stupid essence, shit. Even those that linger in human the fact that the Black Soul Stone even exists stone in the first place is a stupid plot device. Out of every man, woman, and child on Sanctuary, they will all die. We can still stop him. It's, it's actually, I bet if you read up on the wiki, it would make more sense, because I'm sure there's a Diablo wiki that explains how a human being can create shit from a shard of the world stone, because that's what the soul stones are, shards of the world stone. The demonic essence from whatever plane of existence it finds itself in. But, mankind but if I remember correctly, in the second game specifically, alike. they set Every rules that are impossible about how the soul stones as an intrinsic exist, and there's nothing, you can't create them, you can't do anything with them. Body and soul apart. 
So here's a badass fucking gauntlet section while riding on top of a giant demon ram. I got a giant demon ram for you, girl. <laughs> this part's actually cool. It's one of my favorite parts of the, uh, the fucking game right here. Like it. Yo, I like that. You gotta break those things. You gotta break those things. Plot. Plot has happened. Did you guys know plot has happened? Plot. Exposition. Quick. Overload them with so much side story that they don't realize that none of this makes sense. I'm an asshole. That's okay. I'm the best asshole you'll ever have. What? There we go. You get a uh, challenge for beating this in a certain amount of time. And the gates are down. Hey, you guys, we opened the door. That thing that the demons could never figure out to do, we just did it in like three or four minutes. Or less. Pandora We're the best. Fortress. What's up? When Talk to me, asshole. My sword I'm gonna drink some water. Mmm, delicious water. Drink your water, kids. Water is important. Your strength is not enough. To defeat him, you must channel the power of death as he does. There All right. Many spirits here. Perhaps they Looks like the stream is going pretty well here. The power of the dead. If you could become one with it, you would be as Hey everybody, thanks for joining us. I appreciate you checking us out. We're uh find a way quickly. Actually right at the end of our well, we've got about a half an hour, 45 minutes left about, but we're right at the end of our um complete run through of uh, Reaper of Souls on hardcore. So, you know, that's awesome. Um so hopefully we don't die before the end here, but uh, if we do, stick around to find out exactly how it all ends. Ah, oh, man, I'm dying here. You sound like my sister. Yeah, I hope you guys like what you see, and if you do, stick around. Definitely throw a follow our way if you're enjoying it, or you can check out all the other awesome stuff we do. It cannot be. This is oh, it's an adorable little girl. Let's talk to the adorable little girl. Hey, girl. What's up? I lost you How's school years. going? Yes, but now I've found you again. Someone bad keeps me here. Can you make him go away? Oh, that's so sad. Yes. It's a dead sister. First, I will need your help. Dead sisters are no fun. Let's the talk to her. Draws power from us so no one can hurt him. I'll tell everyone to give their strength to you instead. Yeah, buddy. Then you'll make him you ain't about to have right? shit, Malthiel, dude, bro. There are so many people here. I looked this is cool dead. backstory where you actually see someone from your character's past. Because when you play as this character, you don't really learn anything about the character's pa uh, past and who they are, except in their dialogue and, like, very small quips and things they say. So it's cool to actually meet someone from their past um, when you get to this point in the game here. Well, that's depressing and sad. It's all right. It didn't hurt. I just went to sleep. Aww. That's super sad and shit. Okay. Let's go fuck some shit up. <laughs> so this is actually a really cool final dungeon. Because they, like, did the shit out of hell in the first two games and the third act. And they did heaven in the fourth act of this game. So now being in this, like, twilight apocalypse fucking fortress is pretty sick. Man, I might be only 65 when I fight the boss here. That's, uh, interesting. 
If I'd done everything while I did the...